pool of students, in this video we'll discuss how to price bonds. A bond is a financial instrument which promises a redemption value after a certain period of time and this period of time is called the duration of the bond. It may also promise, but not necessarily, coupon payments. So let's address some terminology with bonds. So a bond will have a face value of F. This will be the face value of the bond. A bond will have a redemption value. It will have a duration or maturity period. So let's say that N is the number of compounding periods or coupon periods. And R is the effective coupon rate per period. Then, with the assumption that I is the effective annual interest rate, we can determine how to price a bond. So what will happen is, let's look at the following stream of payments. So a bond will have the following stream of payments. Here's time zero, and here's time n. One, two, three, n minus one and n. So what will happen with a zero coupon bond is you'll just simply be given the redemption value at the final time. So for a zero coupon bond, you get C at the very end of the day. So for zero coupons, the price will be the redemption value times new to the n, where this new, it corresponds to the effective annual interest rate. So here, new, will be 1 over 1 plus i. Now typically bonds will offer coupons, which means that each of these individual coupon periods I will earn the face value of the bond times the bond by the coupon effective rate. So I'll have FR, 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 and FR. So now the price of a bond with coupons will be given by the following. It will be FR new, that will be the first present value of the first coupon, FR new squared, all the way down to the last coupon, which will be FR new to the N. And then it will also be the redemption value C new to the N. And so we can examine this expression, and we see that these terms over here can be rewritten as FR times A bracket N I plus C new to the N. <clears throat> so this is the price of a bond that has coupons given in this stream. We can now simplify this expression using the fact that A bracket N I is one minus new to the N over I, which tells me that new to the N will be equal to 1 minus i, a bracket, and i. So using this algebraic relationship, we can find another formula for the price of a coupon bond. The price of a coupon bond, p, will be f r a bracket, and i, plus c, and then new to the n will be replaced with 1 minus i, a bracket, and i, and we see that the price of a bond will be C plus A bracket N I, and then F R minus C I. So this is how we price bonds with coupons. Now typically it's the case, so typically, 
C equals F, the redemption value of the bond is equal to the face value of the bond. And in this situation, we say that it's a par bond, so the bond is priced at par. In this case, the formula will simplify even further to P equals F plus A bracket N I times F and then R minus I. So we see that if R is larger than I, the price increases as the number of periods increase, and if R is less than I, the price will decrease. And that's the fundamental principle behind an idea called callable bonds. It's not always the case that a bond can reach its full maturity. There are callable bonds which the issuing agency can decide to buy back the bond at any given time and give you slightly more or slightly less than the redemption value in order to gain a financial advantage. We'll see that, how to price callable bonds in future videos. Thank you very much.